is known as the toughest man in the world, presenting Andrew the Brick Wall Sosa! What's up, my friends? How y'all doing? This is your boy Sosa Pons coming at you with the drafts for Chapter 73 manga. Man, this is epic. I have seen a slim preview of these, and as y'all know, I'm the first one to bring y'all out this breaking news. As always, check the rest of YouTube. I'm always the fastest. So hopefully y'all will subscribe, hit the bell for notifications on all, so that the all feature, so you can see all my future content. I'm going to be coming out with the translations very soon right after this. So make sure you stay tuned to this channel very soon, 30 minutes to an hour tops. All right, smash that thumbs up like button. Without further ado, let's get started. It's going to be genuine reaction from me whenever it comes to these drafts, because... I haven't really had time to examine it, but I know from the little bit I saw, things are about to get real crunk in here. We have Goku versus Granola right off the bat. Like, then they're already going hardcore after this battle. Now, obviously, the chapter is not going to introduce itself, just, just jumping straight, straight into the fight. But, you know, this is what we're going to be led to. And we have Granola using the two fingers right there, the little gun key blast technique right there. And we had this one that's apparently a full finished one right there. Like they actually gave us a fully finished manga slice within the draft. So that's pretty cool right there. I like that. But we have Goku going uh, Super Saiyan Blue right here. Now, you know, Goku is uh, I, what I would think is in a Super Saiyan form so far. But I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that because we don't see the blue electricity or anything like that. So, you know, which is significant to the blue aura whenever he's going full power. So maybe this this picture right here is going to be something that happens later on within the chapter when Goku realizes that even Super Saiyan is not enough. But uh, maybe he already turned blue in the other one. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember. And I didn't have time to research it because I bring y'all at this stuff so fast. So Goku is dodging the key blasts and having a hard time dodging them and stuff like that. And Goku actually uses a cool move where he is uh, dodging and is about to you know, shoot a key blast at the feet of Granola, but he's able to jump out of the way. Interesting so far. I'm liking the way the action's going. Goku is giving chase right here, and they're probably doing a speed comparison. And there's some key blasts that are going into the forest and everything. And they both go, not key blasts, that's their key being shown going through the force and they are like testing themselves out whether or not who's going to be fastest G goku keeps on trying to hit him blah, blah blah and granola is getting out of the way pretty fast and pretty easily it would seem damaging the trees in the process goku keeps on giving chase you know very detailed like they spend a few panels like actually just giving to the chase not even going through action just goku missing which means they're going through extreme like detail with this battle which is good i would rather us get more detail and things move a little slower as long as it's done completely right right there so i like i can't wait to see the finished manga panels and while goku is doing that there is uh something that oh it looks like granola gets a rope and uses it uh, to swing around around a tree and hit goku with a huge kick so obviously granola is winning right there and catching goku off guard and using pretty cool tactics. Granola is a smart fighter. Whether he be, you know, the most strong person in the universe or whatever, like, he's a smart guy. He knows how to fight. So, obvi obvious with these tactics and everything like that, using the leverage and that. Goku recovers around a pre tree branch, copying Granola just like himself. And he uses it to be able to land. And he's just like, he's obviously got a concerned look within his face right here. So I don't know exactly what that means, but that is the end of the manga panels right there. That's the end. Yeah, so just nothing but action. Of course, there's going to be some prelude. They obviously haven't broken down. Hey, we're not the bad guys, Granola. You know, you should really rethink what you're doing right here. They obviously haven't gotten to that point because they definitely want to give us a fight first. But I like where they're going with this. It looks really cool. It looks reminiscent of the Cell versus Goku fight. And I that's my favorite fight of the entire series. Cell is my favorite character of the entire series. Let me know who your favorite character is in the comments as well as what you think about this arc. I can't wait to, wait to see what y'all have to say about this. But those are the drafts. The translations will be coming out momentarily. 30 minutes to an hour if Herms is on it or if we have to wait till, you know, Mr. DBS Hype has to do it. We shall see. But I'm going over the drafts one more time for y'all. Yeah, th this is awesome so far. I like where they're going with this. So, 
Like I said, sub, bell and all, like button. Follow me on all my social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Links to that in the description and the first comment too. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel for other great DBZ content, interviews with Geekdom 101, and other great, you know, Tori Tara mess ups like about space and everything and whether they can survive in space or not. I sell that once for all. Comments be all sorts of good stuff. But that's enough of me ranting. I appreciate y'all listening. Y'all are awesome. Get to these translations soon and y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. <laughs>